Former West Indies fast bowler Ian Bishop feels the upcoming Caribbean Premier League could provide a boost to cricketing countries that aren't economically robust if the tournament goes off smoothly. Bishop contrasted how the CPL would have to ensure biosecurity during the COVID-19 pandemic and with limited resources and how the England and Wales cricket board was doing it in the series against West Indies and the ongoing one against Pakistan. He held that while the ECB's resources made a biosecure environment feasible if players took responsibility and ownership, then countries and boards without similar resources could also have a pathway to restarting cricket. Bishop felt once the players got their minds right and accept the new normal, then anything is possible. Even women's cricket, he feels, could resume using the models that are being employed in England and for the CPL here in Trinidad and Tobago. The defending champions Barbados Stridents will face the St. Kitts Nevis Patriots in their opening match of the 2020 Caribbean Premier League on Tuesday afternoon at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. Ken Fuentes says team captains Jason Holder and Riyad Emirates are both keen to get started in this unique atmosphere. The Patriots captain says players and officials all have to adjust to a new and unique set of circumstances. He says while the St. Kitts Patriots have lost several players, and the original coaching staff, the change in management hasn't been much of a problem. You know, we, we know we're, we're off a way a bit from where we want to be. Um, you know, what she has been, he's, he's a legend. You know, he's a lot of, we, our strength, what we think is our fast bowling department. And, you know, to have him here to, to bring that experience and to, to guide us in the right path. You know, the guys, they were, you know, ecstatic to have him around. While they will miss the fans, this makes it a level playing field as even the Trin Bago Knight Riders will have to do it out their 12th man. Um, the crowd always plays a big part. You know, if we, if we, if it's one positive, we, we know that, you know, TKR doesn't have that 12th man support playing at home. So that's a positive for the rest of the teams. But as, as players, we have to bring our own vibes to the stadium. For the defending champions, the Barbados Tridents, they have left last year's title run in the past and the focus on this year's challenge. Last year was a wonderful campaign for us. You know, we were able to lift the trophy. But at the end of the day, that's, that's history. And we, we've got a very, a very important task at hand in defending the trophy. And we have got a few new faces into our team. So it's, it's def definitely not the same, same team. Uh, and that's both in the management team and, and the players. Um, so more or less, we've got to come together and, and formulate our plans. And then when it all boils down, after we cross the rope, when the umpires say play, it's more or less execution. Holder believes the retention of two quality spinners in Hayden Walsh and Rashid Khan should help in their quest to retain the title. Hayden was the um, player of the tournament last year and Rashid is uh, a world-class leg spinner. So yeah, I think we spinners have traditionally done really well in limited overs cricket. And, you know, we expect big things from both of them. I think they'll look forward to bowling together in tandem. And, you know, it's, it's a matter for them to, to pretty much execute and lead the charge in the way of our spin bowling department. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.